A blessed day, brothers and sisters in Christ. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come and join me as we listen and reflect on His words. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draw near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined a table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But who to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed? It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Thirty Pieces of Silver Matthew reports that Judas received thirty pieces of silver for having betrayed Jesus. A quick look at Google would tell us the modern equivalent of thirty pieces of silver, about five weeks' money based on a six-day working week. The meaning is more profound than the actual value, the price of a bored slave, or the wage of an underpaid shepherd. Jesus is given so little value even in his betrayal. But the most painful thing about this betrayal is not about the 30 silver pieces. We can see this pain in the verse, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me one with whom I have shared food, one who is my friend and disciple. The Lord is betrayed by a friend and a disciple. The eve of the most important days in the year ends with a situation so grave and disheartening, a story relieved when we live out our own stories of betrayal. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today we have heard and reflected on His Word. Thank you for joining us. May God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.